Hey everybody, this is Dano, and I'm going to show you my Vertex Color Editor that I just updated. Uh, I created this in 2004 for Maya 4, and I've just uh, updated it for 2011 uh, for Maya 2011 and also my demo reel, or, or my uh, website. <coughs> so here's the uh, tool itself. Uh, let me show you uh, what it's comprised of. So this is actually uh, co has two components to it. Uh, one is this custom uh, plugin uh, that I created in the Maya SDK and updated it for 2011. Uh, it also has a Mel script component which creates this UI and uh, talks to the uh, to the program to uh, facil facilitate all the uh, uh, the code uh, execution. So here it is there. Um, so let me bounce out from here and go to uh, Visual Studio and show you some of the code. So again, here's the Mel script, and uh, here's some of the actual code. So what this actually is <coughs> does is uh, there are certain functions in here that uh, calls commands uh, for Maya and allows it to kind of edit all the vertices. You can see I have all my comments here from when I was first starting out. This is the first one of the first plugins I ever created. So you can see like all these comments that I left in. Oh, look at me! I was so young, I was just a kid. Uh, so, oh, so looking at the commands here, you can see some of the uh, commands I have in here, which allow me to, uh, hook up to the interface over in, uh, Maya, uh, via Mel script. Uh, so let me bounce back out over there and show you the actual tool. So here's a simple scene. The scene has baked lighting, as you can see, uh, it's baked in the vertices. And so, uh, at the time of Maya 4 or 4 or 5, they didn't have a way of editing color vertices, uh, of a scene. Uh, so uh, it was requested that I create this tool. So you can see here you have the, uh, I'm using standard algorithms for hue, saturation, and value. I've also added some red, green, blue components. You can edit the scene and then, of course, uh, brightness and contrast. So if I select the scene, or actually, which I did when I started the tool, and uh, I can come in here and I can kind of increase the saturation or decrease the value a little bit. And uh, it's looking a little green here, and I want it to look like sunlight, so I'll, I'll increase uh, the red a little bit and decrease the blues. That's a little that's a little mustardy There like a sunset and so if I'm happy with that I can hit apply and You can see that it's baked our scene now the reason I, I chose to go into the API is because <coughs> Originally I was doing this through script and uh, which is totally fine, but at the time of Maya 4 and the processing uh, the number of items that one of objects you haven't seen would totally affect uh, the speed uh, of what things are, or how things are being processed. So the Maya API is at very low, at the very initial level of how Maya functions, and so we chose to do that because we had multiple objects in the scene. You can see here is very simple. But um, so that's the tool itself. Again, uh, two components to that. There's the Mel script, which controls the UI and uh, the actual interface to uh, Mel it's, uh, Maya itself, and also uh, the C++ code. Um, which uh, allows you to use Maya at its very base core. Uh, so there it is. There's my tool, updated for 2011. Thanks very much for uh, watching and listening.